we have um, actually we are going to close our celebration with a motivational presentation by Grand Vice President Sister Kathy Bizukas about what? Growth and expansion. When the chapter of our cherished international women's organization, the Daughters of Penelope, grow in membership, we all grow in strength. We develop a greater sense of empowerment, self-respect and self-confidence. To me, and the way I see things, growth and expansion is a form of group empowerment. So Sister Kathy, Hello, everyone. Dime do. <laughs> Happy Women's Day, everyone. Good evening, sisters, and thank you for inviting me. I feel honored to be celebrating this day with all of you. Day of celebration, I have to say. We started out this morning with our webinar. Then this afternoon, I went to a women's luncheon in our town for the Chamber of Commerce. And now I'm the day with my sisters from the North. What a wonderful day. We may have been given one day on the calendar that is designated to this important, day, but I believe we celebrate every day. I wanna congratulate the guests of the evening. I am just in awe with the women they have seen today who have received awards, who have spoken. We are at the top of our game, I feel. What meant to stay to honor these women and the women around the world. Membership is my topic for the evening. Growth and expansion, or as to call it growth and retention, is very important to every organization. But the Daughters of Penelope is one of a kind, and we need to continue working together, keep our organization moving forward. Let's remember, without members, there would be no Daughters of Penelope. So I think that, let's see, I kind of, I'm going to run through the growth and expansion program and then the game that Santi wants to explain, which I will do. Um, let me share my screen. Oh, we meant. Santi, can you still hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. We can see your screen. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to minimize all of that and start. And I'll just start from the beginning. Most of these slides we have already accomplished going through COVID. As you will see, I actually started this before everything started, actually in the midst of it. So a few of these slides may not um, be a part of what we, we are doing right now. But let's keep moving forward. All aboard the P train. We want to focus and stay on track. Membership during a pandemic, which we still do, even though we're to get the vaccines now. Um, we want to stay healthy. We want to continue to isolate. We want to physically distance ourselves, serve ourselves, our family, of course, the daughters of Penelope. How do we move forward? We just keep doing what we have been doing, and we have been doing tremendous work, especially through Zoom and other social media. We connect with our sisters. We keep, continue to support chapters, district headquarters. And this is a great time to educate ourselves with the website. Sister Elena, our executive director, opened our website. So if you have not had a chance to look at it, I would suggest you go on it. There is so much information on there that you wouldn't believe. And all of the webinars that we have been doing uh, through the Grand Lodge and headquarters are on there. So you can go back and get them on your own. And that you would find under members. And then there's a section that says webinars. We also still have our financial support, which I community chest for our chapter dues, our district obligations, our national per capita and national obligations. So when we started the new world, new ways and new ideas, which we are still at, but as we've said, we have to set our goals and we continue to go. 
what type of members do you need? All types of members. So recently we have found out that we have stay-at-home workers, stay-at-home moms, sitters, nanny, yayas who help out. Then we have our lifetime members who are the backbone of our chapter. Historians, which is, we are learning a lot from a lot of members now, able to tell us their stories and new members that bring in new ideas. So when we meet, what are some of the ways we, we can be together? Well, there are all these social media platforms, Zoom, FaceTime, Messenger, Hangout, Skype, and WhatsApp. We can also use phone calls still, snail mail, which has not been very good lately. It's been taking a lot of time to just mail something from one city to another here. I don't know how it is in Canada. Um, we can dial in on Zoom, we can have free conference calls and our group meeting. So what are the positives? We have definitely all been thinking outside the box. We have had webinars, we had um, just conversations, uh, just to make sure checking up on everyone. So what we do to keep ourselves in we can still meet, we can still have meetings, we can still initiate new members, we can still vote on important issues. So we have to be a certain mind and I don't think anyone thought this was possible but it has all become a reality and we have outgrown and think, thought out of the box for this entire year. We can also socialize virtually, host virtual fundraisers, cooking nights, speakers, lectures, educational webinars, and even host game nights. So why won't COVID stop us? Because we are still here after 90 years. One largest women's international organization. We have a long history. We are strong women. We are about each other and we are doers. The final thoughts of our growth and expansion program just want you to think about this. With everything that we have gone through, we have be had, we have become sisters who are very flexible. We convenience now of going on social media. We don't have weather conditions to worry about. And of course, Canada and Chicago area would have been, wouldn't have had any means for a while of snow that we have had recently. Actually, the whole top of the United States and Canada. We have the enjoyment of our sisterhood and belonging of belonging. And hopefully, hopefully soon we can all be together again. So let's keep moving forward and pay to collect $2. So I first started this game. Um, let me put that on. Because I, I wasn't sure how we're all going to do things. Especially, oh, where's my program here? Mm, let's see, that one, that's it, yeah. We weren't really sure how we were going to do anything, so I thought, in order to get everyone to participate, we need a little competition. So I came up with the game of D.O.P.O.P.O.L.Y. It started out with, with even just the little cards for quotes and, and just words to, to be an incentive for us to keep keep moving forward. So it turned into a game called Diopiopoli. So the, the overview of the board, um, every property on here represents either a district or a train, a railroad, or our national projects. So I will go through this really quickly. So this is the first side from all the way into just visiting in jail. The second side is from just visiting, and you can see jumping and there's Dillon and yeah, Free Parking, which is headquarters. So if we continue around the third side, you can see right here is where I from Indiana. And so you just travel down the Midwest, and hopefully you don't land in jail. And the last side, if you do land and you take a wrong turn, I always say you can just Look off of the coast of San Francisco from Alcatraz, and you may or may not make it to Greece, but we are hoping that this has stopped before we all get on a plane and go. 
So the four corner properties, just quickly also, we have go, we have headquarters, we have just visiting jail or in jail and go to jail. Then we have the railroads, which I have named um, the four different ones. We have a Canadian railroad, we have a, a Southern across the United States, we have Amtrak, and I don't remember my fourth one. <laughs> and if you land on, on community chess, it's just a reminder. But if you land on chance, that's the only spot that you have to move back three spaces and there are on the board. Our national pro projects are also represented on the board. Penelope House, Sjogren's Foundation, and Limitless. Then we get to the actual game. The idea of the game is to travel around the world to the different locations, Pasco, and collect $200. Become Diopiopolis by initiating, reinstating, and collecting membership per capita, and we all start from go. So you're going to move your district train around the board into your, the monthly stats. Um, the main objective is, of course, to initiate, to reinstate, keep up our membership. And so when you reach a total of five, of either initiating or reinstating, you get a bonus and you get to move forward to the next railroad. For month of no activity, you go to directly to jail, no passing go, um, schedule a growth and expansion program with me and you get five extra points and chapter two PASCO collects $200. So the game officially began on November 1st. It was a little bit slow at first. Um, I'm also giving incentives for the chapters that don't have a large membership. But each district will be represented by a passenger train. This chapter is attached to the district train as they move forward with activity. So your train can move faster by, of course, initiating new members, reinstating, paying your obligations per capita, and then the challenges. Okay, we want to make sure we stay on track but the main objective of everything of membership to make it matter is to be successful. So when you put it into words, this is actually perfect. For the price of entry, we have to work hard. We have to be persistent. We have to have discipline, ambition, sacrifice, patience. We all have failure, but we get back up, right back up again, and we focus. So I have actually here, written the monthly incentives, I've added it. So for February, which we have not come out with the uh, statistics yet, in honor of Valentine's Day, it was for the love of the daughters for each new initiate, you got to move two spaces instead of one. March, which we are in right now, so think about this. I have Greek and stay, so we can move one space when you show your Hellenism on social media and make sure to send me a picture in case I miss it. Pay your entire chapter per capita by March 31st, and you'll receive five points in five spaces. April, Sister Santi, this is for you. Making it easier, the next Penelope scroll is May 15th if, if chapters remit an article by April 30th, and showcase, that way they can showcase the chapter, they get two spaces to move on there. So I will need to get in touch with you when uh, April 30th hits, uh, comes around. And for May, a HEPA Sunday is a very special day for a HEPA family. So for the entire month of May, we want to celebrate our family, have an event with a constituent of the HEPA family, and move four spaces. Send me a blurb, a note, a picture, something of your event or celebration, and as we keep saying, move forward. May will be the last month for incentives um, because we have so many other things going on toward the end of the year. So I hope all of the chapters that are playing or are bringing in the challenges. I hope you're enjoying playing and you can still join if you want. And we uh, thank you for your continued the growth of our daughters. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, thank Sister you. Kathy. This is always very stimulating and motivational. <laughs> and I really, I mean, I'm, uh, and I do believe, okay, the, the, the log of, of our grand president together, we're stronger together, we thrive, and together we empower each other and we empower also others. 
So thank you so much for this presentation because it is very, how can I say, um, motivational for all of us to get moving, increasing the strength of our chapters, our districts, and uh, uh, basically feeling more confident about ourselves. Because I love, I mean, I joined, it's when exactly. I joined, I love this organization and actually you the, the personification of this love, uh, Sister Kathy. And thank you so much for being with us today and uh, show us all the beautiful things that growth and expansion can do.